today guys we are going over another thing that i want to see added to grand rp like i said i'm making this into a little series the first thing we went over was about some vehicles that should be added the second thing we went over was about some rules and the third thing is going to revolve around electricity and charging stations for electric vehicles so i hope you go on to enjoy the video if you guys haven't already joined the server before and want to be sure to click the link down below in the description click on start playing select which server you want to play on register an account and download the launcher and you are good to go. And of course, if you would like to join my family and have access to all of these beautiful cars that you could drive around, the Discord link is also down below. Contact myself or one of the deputies in the family, and then you guys can join. But anyways, let's get into this video here and hop into one of our electric vehicles. So we could take this beautiful Bentley out for a spin, but I think I'm going to drive around my really weird looking burger, Barzugan, Bloomberg, chicken car. I don't know, that, that pink one right there. So I never really drive around electric vehicles, and I'm gonna go over why in this video. Even though they're pretty cool, they have autopilot, which I absolutely love, I just never really drive them around. And I kind of feel like I have a fairly good reason to do so. All right, let's take this thing out. Look how weird it looks. There is a debt collector at my house. All right, take my debt. No problem, man. So I'm in my electric vehicle, and I kind of love the look of the way this thing looks at night. By the way, the pink underglow was 3.8 mil. Okay, we're getting off topic here. Let's shut it off. So if I needed to go and get gasoline right now, for example, let's just see where I could go. Obviously, this gas station is out of products, so I can't go there, but it's still fairly close. There's one right up the road from me, right over here, and there's also one right here. So I'm surrounded by three gas stations within a one mile radius, which is pretty great. But then if I needed to get electricity, I have to go all the way down here. That's the closest one to me. And it's also in the ghetto, which means there is a chance that I could get shot at and robbed, which I don't want to happen, obviously. The next closest one, where even is that? I don't know, because there's only five in the entire city. So there's another one all the way over here, which is pretty far away. I passed by a bunch of different gas stations on the way to this charging station. There's also one all the way up here in Sandy Shores. There's one right over here for some reason. And then there's another one all the way over here. So we got three of them in the city, and two of them are out in Sandy Shores. So you kind of got to go out of your way in order to actually get your battery charged on your electric vehicle, which is, like I said, one of the main reasons I don't really drive them. Because let's say I needed to go and recharge the battery on my electric vehicle right now, and I was planning on going to LSPD, for example. I'd have to go out of my way somewhere further away past LSPD in order to do that. But if I had a regular car, I pass by like four gas stations on the way to LSPD, and it just makes things a little bit easier. Like right now, I'm going to drive all the way up to Polito Bay, and I have about half a charge of electricity still on the battery. We should be able to make it there, because honestly, the range is pretty decent. But even once I get to Polito Bay, there's no electric charging station there. The closest one to me from there is about four miles away, all the way in Sandy Shores. So once again, I'll have to go out of my way to recharge this battery. And let's say my destination that I needed to go to was, I don't know, a house that's right here. Where do I go? Do I drive all the way across the map to Sandy Shores or drive all the way back to the city, recharge the battery, and then drive all the way back up here? It's just a bit of a burden. Like I said, there's only five charging stations in this entire city. But if I had a regular car, there's a gas station right down the road from where my destination was, which is literally the gas station right there. So I'd only be about a mile away. But since I'm in this electric vehicle, I'd have to drive four miles away and then four miles back, just spending time driving for no reason when it could be done a little simpler. There's a couple options of what they could do. One is obviously adding more electric charging stations around the map. They could literally toss them anywhere in parking lots, literally anywhere. It doesn't matter where they are, to be completely honest. But the other option I was thinking was since we already have a bunch of gas stations, I believe we have 22 gas stations in total. Why not just toss an electric charging station down at each gas station? It would just make things a lot easier. Like whenever you're driving around a normal car in the city, you need to get gas, you just go to a gas station. And normally you're not really far away from one ever. So you never really think about that issue unless you're driving an electric car. And of course you could go and get a bunch of charged batteries and store them in the trunk of your vehicle. They're about $300 each and they weigh 20 kilograms a pop which is very annoying, especially if you have a very small trunk or something like that, or you don't even have a trunk, you're gonna have to carry them on your person. And you carry three, that's 60 pounds. And for some people, that's almost their entire backpack weight. But let's say you're driving around a regular car. It's not like most of you guys just drive around with a trunk full of jerry cans, right? I don't think I've ever done that before in my life, to be honest, just because there's gas stations everywhere. Like even right here, I'm in Polito Bay. There's two gas stations right next to me, but no electric charging station. And there's also another gas station 
about a mile down this road that I'm driving down. So like I said, all I gotta do is just add some more charging stations. And obviously another benefit to that would be the fact that there would be more businesses for people to buy then. They won't be the most profitable businesses in the game, obviously. Like even this gas station all the way up here probably isn't the most profitable gas station in the world. And if they were to toss down a charging station there that somebody could purchase as business, that probably also won't be the most profitable business in the world. But some businesses aren't really meant for making that much money. They're used for gaining family points for your family. But if they decided to do something like that, add more charging stations around the map or add them at every gas station, driving an electric vehicle would no longer be a burden. Like taken, since I left my house, we have passed by a lot of gas stations, but we have not gone near one electric charging station. So if you were all the way in Polito Bay, it is an absolute mission to recharge the battery of your electric car. But if you're in a regular vehicle, you're pretty much chilling and probably never noticed this issue. And honestly, electric vehicles are great because one thing I'm not a huge fan of doing is just constantly driving around everywhere. And electric vehicles have autopilot. Now, of course, autopilot is very buggy and you're gonna see that in a second right after I fill up on some electricity here, but it is very buggy. It does not care if there's another car in front of you or another person, it will run literally anything down. So that could probably be worked on just a little bit. But we finally made it to an electric charging station. Perfect. Let's fill this thing up for 540 bucks, which isn't actually that expensive. And now we have our electricity. Yay. All right, let's head back to the house, which is where? Somewhere over here. I believe it's this house right here. Let's turn on the vehicle 3.7 miles away and autopilot is taking it away. Now I'm not driving. I could kick back and relax except for when it randomly crashes into something, freaks out, and then drives into the water, which I'm assuming will probably end up happening. This is why electric cars are nice. Even though I said it is buggy, it's nice not being able to drive and just letting the car drive itself. So to end things off here, it would be nice if we could drive electric cars around more, or at least for me personally, if there were more charging stations accessible to us around the entire map. Because like I said, even if I'm at my house, the closest electric charging station for me is in the ghetto. And then the next closest one is on the other side of the city. And I'd also have to drive through the ghetto to get there. And if I don't want to do that, I have to drive around the ghetto, making the trip even longer. Not by a lot, but still making it longer. Or I could go to the other one near the casino, but still. If they had an electric charging station at each one of the gas stations, or at just more locations around the city, I think it would be great. Like even right next to me right here, this would be a pretty great spot to just toss down an electric charging station in that parking lot. And then they could add more electric vehicles or, you know, people that have electric vehicles could drive them around more without having to be constantly worried about getting charged batteries or trying to figure out which charging station is the closest because no matter what, you got to go out of your way to recharge it. But anyways, I guess that is pretty much going to wrap the video up and I'm kind of surprised that uh, we have not crashed into anything yet. Love the way that I'm driving this thing. No steering wheel. It actually looks so cool inside here though. It's just strange how it's a two-seater even though there's clearly four seats in this thing. But either way, yeah, that's going to end the video off for today. Let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think of this. For me personally, if they just did that, I think it would be pretty great. More businesses for us to purchase and more electric charging stations everywhere so I could actually drive around electric cars. Any Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you went on to enjoy it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. And of course, if you guys are thinking of anything that you would like to see fixed, added, changed, anything in this city, be sure to let me know down below. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.